losing my mom uh, was the best thing that I had in my life. Welcome back, Dive and Rise. Today, special episode. The 10th episode, John. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised. We reached 10 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> it is something that we have to thank God for. We have mm. to thank ourselves. You know, in everything, what matters is con consistency. And thanks our audience. Yeah. The support that we're getting from them. The team also. Mm. All the team members. Mm. We thank them all. Mm. You know, man, I wanted to talk today about life. This is life. <laughs> what we are doing now is part of this life. We are, as a human, part of this big cosmic world which we call universe. We are just a small part of it. But inside our self, there is also a life. And I want to go deep and dive deep in this life. For example, what you did when you wake up today, John? Wow. You know, um, naturally when I wake up, the first thing that I do is, you know, we um, naturally you'll go to the washroom yeah. and then come back. And for me, once I get back, I get to my knees and I pray. And when I finish praying, it depends what time I wake up. Mostly I wake up between 4 and 5. Time is relative, man. Yeah. Because 4 and 5 in Bahrain mm -hmm. is 7 and 8 there. In somewhere, yeah. In somewhere else. <laughs> so <laughs> so Bahrain time. No, in Kenya, the, the timing is same. So same as Bahrain. That's yeah, great. That's so good. naturally it's between 4 and 5 in the morning. You so don't have jet lag. Yeah. But you know, in this life, people choose their own path. And uh, don't let life choose for you. I'm not saying that you are stronger than life. Of course, life is stronger than everyone here. Mm. But God give us something that more strong, which is called will. We have the will to choose. Even if you become come from difficult environment, you are a big example, John for this, you know. I'm not talking about uh, financial or something like this. I'm talking about, can I say? Yeah, hey, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, you lost your, your mom mm -hmm. in an early age. Mm -hmm. And that's not easy, man, for mm -hmm. anybody to recover from this. Mother is uh, everything, you know, mom is everything. And for you to choose to have this will, the strong will, to continue living, to continue believing in yourself, is something else. And they want you to tell us about this, if you don't mind. I'm sorry that I <laughs> surprised you, man. <laughs> man, you've, oh my God, you've taken me to the, the lowest point of my life, you know, and... Um, naturally, now I'm stronger than the way I was before. But everybody knows that losing a mother is a devastating situation, a thing. It's the loss of part of you, and especially part of your system of life. So personally, mine, sometimes when I talk about it, people go like, huh? But the truth is, losing my mom um, was the best thing that I had in my life. Wow, let me cut you here, man. Do you want to keep that one? I want to say it again because people misunderstand it, but it was the best thing that I got in my life and thank God for it. Not because, because when you tell people like that, yeah. people think like, so you hated your mom so much like that? But people don't always see the positive sides of yeah. bad things that happen but in also life. also like uh, when you talk about it in that way, mm. you brought me an idea like your mom was giving you so much in her life. And she give you a lot in her death also. Now you're talking, and that's exactly what I mean. My mom used to give me more than I can say I, I needed. And this is what people don't always get in life. 
Sometimes your parents could be giving you in excess and it might ruin your life. It might ruin your way of thinking, your way of going outside there and making life out of it. So I live with a mom who could give me anything that I wanted, not luxurious life. You know when you tell people that mom used to give me er- everything. Spoiling you. Yeah, like mom used to give me uh, Xbox, um, you know, uh, PlayStation when I needed it. No, she <laughs> never used My mom gave me a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what people think about when you tell them that mom used to give me everything. Yeah. So my mom used to put my food in the table, used to buy, buy us, you know, new Christmas mm. shoes and clothing. And, you know, living with my mom, made me kind of a lazy person in somewhat because it never taught me how to go and get even though i used to look at how she used to work i used to see that hard work in her but just seeing it and not going through it you might not experience it so mm. from losing my mom i had now to start my life alone to depend mm-hmm. on myself you know man talking about a mother mm. because somehow mother she gives life yeah and she also can we say she take life yes yeah, she does because for example for me i feel like no i don't <laughs> so much deep man things <laughs> but you know when uh, for example somebody else mm. when he loses his mother mm. he loses his life but in your situation mm. your mother give you a life when you give birth and she give you life when, when she, she passed away Exactly. When my mom passed away, I got a new life that has made me the person that I am today because I got stronger. I knew how to go outside there and find something that I need for myself. Mm-hmm. You know, it was so painful that I cried for months to get to heal out of it. But I also learned that what God has planned, nothing can change it. You can cry, you can groan, you can want to kill yourself but it has happened so it made me believe that life is a journey where we have to be prepared every time for what comes next it might mm. not be what you wish to have what you can tell for someone who lost a loved one how can he recover or he can recovering from a loss of a loved one depends on what you put in your body because the thing is it is a life people need to get it inside them that life that you're living here it has got an end on earth then we have a second life that comes after death this is a an a, a destination that has been created by god so we should allow the process to happen because it is god who takes life right mm-hmm. so if you've lost a loved one we should be joyous you see What I believe is that the more we cry, the more we question, the more we are making hard life for the people, our loved ones that have died to get it in the second life. Because we need to give them peaceful send-off by appreciating them. You know, we should celebrate the good things they did. We should appreciate it. Instead, people cry. Yeah. and forget about the good things these people did. You know, I remember I asked you this question. Mm. I think it was three days ago. Mm. I asked you, is your mom living inside you? Yeah. And you answer yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I asked you how she's living inside you. Through her prayers. And memories also. And the memories yeah. she created. These precious memories. You know, the last time that I saw my mom alive, I was 14. And that time I was doing exams. We call it district mock. I was in the last class in primary school. And my mom was in her deathbed. That time she was weak. And for sure, me being a kid still at 14 years, I never saw death coming. But the people around her knew that, yeah. And what my mom did, my mom gave me the last note of money. a hundred Kenya shillings, which is around, uh, I think, one dollar. And this hundred Kenya shillings was for my lunch for a whole week, for seven days. So this Mm. this is how my mom used, you know, that hundred Kenya shilling was a big amount of money. So she gave it to me and she told me these words that I've never forgotten. My mom said to me that, you see, your family... 
is not the people that you're born with. Create your own family. I remember those words and they live in me up to mm. today. And it made me to create family. Now see, mm. we are a family here. You know, mother love is something else. I think it's one of the miracle on this earth. Mm. Unconditional love. I'm not saying there is some mother who there's always exceptions for that. But in general, mother love, even animals when see them loving their I mean uh, kids. Their kids here. Yeah, they protect. They protect them with yeah. their life. Yeah. This is something uh, unex- uh, nobody can explain it, you know. And so precious and beautiful. But uh, in your situation, you took that love, this I mean you took this loss and make it something that changed your life forever. To become who you are now. Always. In yeah. fact, some people will tell you, those people who are closer to me, when I always receive a news of death, I don't always get surprised. I condole with the people who have lost their loved ones. But it doesn't shake me as much mm. as it did when my mom died. Because after mom's death, I realized that, yes, this is a road, a path that everybody will pass through. So we just need to appreciate the time the history, the memory, and everything they created with us, and then pray for them that they get, we call it a hair in my, yeah. in my uh, uh, national right. language. Yeah. They get that peaceful life in the second life. But the more we cry, the more we question God, we are making their life hard. tough, yeah. hard for them. And uh, if I told you there are some people mm. who are living around us, mm who they think that they're going to live forever. And they live their life accordingly. They collect these things. They, they, they just feel that they're going to live forever, you know. And, and they're all dreams, their hopes for maybe 10 lives to go. <laughs> <laughs> Not only their lives, you know. There's some people who just ignore death. Mm-hmm. Do we should have a, take a death as a grand, granted thing? Or we should think about death like it's something can happen tomorrow even. We have to think about death. We have to think about death, but we have to live that we are living forever. It's That's part a of fact. life. Yeah. Death is part of life. We should appreciate it. We should, you know, every time I tell people that as a believer, you need to thank God at the bad times. Mm. You know, the problem we do as human beings is like when somebody dies, then people are like, oh, that's a bad omen. That's the work of the devil. That's the work of... There's nothing that happens on this earth mm-hmm. without God's permission. Some people think also, okay, when I'm dying, mm-hmm. when, I'm, when I'm dead, I mean, mm-hmm. how many people are going to cry about me when I'm dead? Because they link <laughs> crying for love. For love. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's not. In fact, in fact the best thing people celebrate can do life. to their loved ones is to celebrate. That's why in our society, in our community, I was, I was speaking to an Indian colleague and telling them how we send off loved ones in our community. People, we slaughter a lot of animals. Yeah. There's a celebration, food, people, you know, those who love music, they bring music and they dance. Those people who love to drink, they drink. You know, it's a celebration of a life well lived. And this celebration, People should take it that it is a rip, it, it's a footprint of, um, what, what can I call it, a message to the people who are out there that when people die, you should not cry. This is the reality. How you celebrate someone's life? Celebrating someone, someone's life is sitting together and remembering he's, the memories. He's already di- died. Okay, yes. Sit together with him. You're sitting together as a family. He's not ah, there. His relatives. Yes. Sitting you should together, come together. Talk about him. Yes. His talk legacy. about him. Talk about the legacy. If you can make something like an ornament, or maybe you can buy something, you just even buy a seat, mm. even a chair in a memory of somebody, so and so. If you can go and help the community, for example, build a charity home yeah. or take something in memory of them, that's how to celebrate people who have died. That's so true, man. Yeah. I mean, and people need to, it's not easy for people to reach that level yeah. of understanding of death. Because still people around us, you know, when 
sometimes you walk with, talk to people, mm. feel why are they talking so arrogant, talking like arrogant to other people? Yeah. In the end, everybody gonna die. People are gonna die. Yeah. So just mm. be humble, be modest, mm. and uh, live equal with the rest, because in the end, from dust to dust. From <laughs> dust to dust. That's it. That's yeah. the reality. You know, we should take death just like we take bath. Bath. This is the truth. Take bath? Being born, <laughs> not ah, bath, of, bath. Sh- of, of showering. <laughs> but I mean being born. Take death like you know, take just like born. we receive a child yeah. in the family, we should re- receive the death of a family the same way. Yeah. And, and, and what we also believe as, um, as, a, as, as, as a person coming from a Luo community in Kenya, we believe that even the, those people who die, they still come into existence mm. in the new family members. That's why in our families and our culture and community, we give names to even our dead parents, to the newborns. We take our parents' names and we give them to the newborns. Then we say that, you see, the character of John is in him. <laughs> and John is already dead. <laughs> you getting it? Genetics. Yeah. Yeah, the DNA is So it's, it's, it's like a recycling of, of a life passage. A life, life. So let us appreciate it and, and you know, just yes, thank God man. for life. As I am so thankful for you to sharing this personal information. And uh, I want people to understand that death is not the end. If you have a member of your family sadly died or some passed away, just take it as a step stone for the next achievement or life you're going to have because your your family they will want the best for you in mm-hmm. the end you know mm-hmm. they want you to see you happy in life they want you to prosper in life they will never want you to see sad and disappointed or give up in life i hope that that the message we can share with the with the rest of the audience you know Exactly. And uh, we thank the audience for for staying with us for the 10th episode, listening to us. And please let us know what you think. Me and John, we would <laughs> like to hear what you think about <laughs> This Is Life. And, and, and let them not forget to subscribe, those who are new in our channel. Course, yeah. And also, uh, there's, 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 a, there's something there called the notification bell. It's very important. Press it on so you can always receive these as we publish them. And my last message to you is that death is part of life. Appreciate it and use it to make your life even more interesting by finding yourself. And we thank you all. Thank you.